Snowden. Dr. Snowden. <laughs> voted unanimously to bestow this Doctorate of Humane Letters upon Reverend Dr. Thomas A. Wright. Therefore, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Florida Memorial University and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon Reverend Dr. Thomas A. Wright the degree of Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters with all its attendant rights, privileges, and obligations. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating and certainly praying for our soldier, Reverend Dr. Thomas A. Wright. Thank you. Good morning. My name is LaVon Bracey Davis. This is my brother, State Representative Randolph Bracey III. And we are accompanied by our father, Reverend Randolph Bracey Jr. We are the grandchildren of Reverend Dr. Thomas A. Wright, a civil rights leader, a philanthropist, a drum major for justice, a voice for the voiceless, a man that exemplifies the model of this great institution, Dr. Artis, leadership, character, and service. We stand here on behalf of our mother and her siblings, who are currently by my grandfather's bedside at the Veterans Memorial Hospital in Gainesville, Florida. He is gravely ill. But it was important to my family that we be here today to represent our beloved patriarch. Florida Memorial University is near and dear to my grandfather's heart. Both my grandfather and my late grandmother, Athie Mae Wright, were graduates from the hallowed Florida Memorial University when it was then Florida Normal and Industrial Memorial College and located in St. Augustine, Florida. When my grandfather learned of this day, where he would bestowed, be bestowed an honorary doctorate of humane letters, he was humbled. Then soon after basking in the prestige of such an honor and invitation, his humility, as it always does, turned into philanthropy. With the invitation to this event in hand, he called for his checkbook. So not only on today do I proudly accept this degree on behalf of my grandfather, but I also very proudly present this check of $1,000, perhaps the very last check that will be written with my grandfather's hand. How befitting that it is written to the school that believed in him and believed in our family. His beloved alma mater, the great Florida Memorial University. Thank you. God bless you. Well, that's just and when we uh, think about the contribution of Dr. Thomas Wright, that I stand on his shoulders. When I served in the legislature, I, Dr. Sampson and Dr. Banks, I couldn't help think about, here's someone who gave short life so I could serve. Gave short of life so I could serve. Left St. Augustine and went to Gainesville and continued to fight that good fight. As they say, the story, the half of the story has been vetoed of the contribution that Dr. Wright made to the state of Florida. And when I think about that, I think about when Jesus went to the cross. Right now. He paid a price. Yes, he did. Dr. Wright paid a price. He had to leave one community and go into another community to make life better for you and I who are serving in this room. 
So to the students here today, know that this was a champion, even though he's holding on now for dear life, but he didn't forget his alma mater, Florida Memorial University. So on behalf of his family, and uh, when I reached out to his daughter, and of course, uh, Dr. Bracey here, what could we do before he goes on to glory? But guess what? We're here to tell the story. Amen. Thank you so very much for the opportunity to come and share.